So I received word from the Discord from Kay that Tom McDonald was under assault, beefing a disc battle. I don't know if it's a battle or if it's just uh, one angry person going back to his roots of battle rapping, going after Tom McDonald. I am here for the free thinking. I'm here for the facts. And I will say, uh, a year ago, when I hit 10,000 subscribers here on Freedom to Think, I brought in a special guest, Armando Gonzalez, to do the entire beef breakdown, three parts from Tom McDonald and Mac Lethal. And I will link that and I'll post it in the description for your viewing pleasure because it's about an hour of maybe the most laughs you'll, you've had in your life. If you're a Tom McDonald fan, if you're a Mac Lethal fan, you'll probably be upset that I'm calling balls and strikes and outing all of the bullshit, non-true stuff that Mac Lethal uses for his dissing, which I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna do again right now. So I've had some of the Tom McDonald stands come after me because I'll call balls and strikes on Tom as well if I disagree with some shit that he says in one of his videos, like the latest breakdown, um, you versus me. I had some things to say about that. Uh, and I stand by them wholeheartedly. But anyways, this is about Tom versus Mac Lethal, or at least Mac Lethal shadow boxing uh, at where he thinks Tom might be. So we'll see how that goes. Please leave a like on the stream. We're trying to get the uh, algorithms to be favorable. So Mac Lethal, who has 2.86 million subscribers on YouTube posted this has 111,000 views in one day. And this is him dissing in 2024 Tom McDonald and calling him a Nazi. It says Tom McDonald is a Nazi 2024 diss. So let's see. Is it good? Does the beat go hard? And is there any truth to it? Because I know some people are like, it's not supposed to be true. It's just supposed to be catchy or it's just supposed to go well with the with the bars or have good doubles and triples. And I'm just like, I like things to be true. So in the disc battles, I'm like, hey, that wasn't true. And they're like upset at me. I'm sorry. That's what I do. That's my job. You got to diss people savagely with the truth. That's what we got to do. They develop an eating disorder. So be it. The truth is the greatest weapon. All right, Mac, seven and a half minutes. I'm going to be pausing, so just be ready. And I see Mike says, you will like a fourth of it. You'll probably hate three fourths of it. Okay, well, I'm prepared. So let's see. Let's be clear about one thing. You started it, you sneak dissing pussy. <laughs> Oh my god. I thought it was funny too. We already squashed this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feelings hurt and made a track towards me. Tried to diss me in a rapping war. Tried to bait me into going back and forth. But I really didn't have the passion for it. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I didn't want to give it energy. A transphobic, homophobic, culture vulture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me lyrically. But I'm Oh, it's going to be like that. Okay. So he's saying Tom started it because he made the first diss, which was, um, what was that? Lethal injection is lethal injection. The first one, I believe so from Tom. And so from what I understand, Mac lethal was talking shit on Twitter to Tom McDonald, Tom McDonald started going back and forth with him and then made that lethal injection diss. So then to respond, Mac Lethal hit him with straight white female, if I'm correct, or single white female, straight white female. I don't remember. It was one of those names, which was not very good. I didn't think it was very good. It seemed very like patch quilted together the beat wasn't wasn't my jam, and it was just full of not true shit to make the diss. So I just, 
I called it out. I broke it down with Armando. As I said before, I'll card it up here and I'll put it in the description so you can watch that because that's entertaining as fuck. We went through all the steps of that one. But he's saying he's a transphobic white supremacist and he couldn't match me lyrically. That's so I didn't have energy for him. Right. So the transphobic thing, like I, I don't like this whole communist phobic garbage that's been pushed onto everyone because it's really just attacking you personally when you disagree with something. So you're like, I, I disagree with X and they're like, oh, well, you're hatred, you're hateful and phobic of that thing. It's like, no, I'm not. I just disagree with X. That's a communist directive to slander people whenever they oppose your viewpoint instead of actually debating them on the facts. The homophobic culture vulture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me lyrically. But I'm getting tired of watching this dude embarrass hip hop's history. And the other day he dropped a new song and for some reason he was kissing me. Fine, fight contract sign. Normally I wouldn't pay this any mind. But you made a nine minute song about your personal life. Why the fuck you mention mine? I've been minding my business and buying some property. Why are you dissing me? Why you take shots at me? Man, are you buying prescriptions again? Is it lines that you're sniffing? It's gotta be. Fuck it. Ding ding, let's begin. You got weak skin. We followed each other on I. G, we DM'd, we even agreed that we would be friends. Thomas, we already squashed it. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. Okay. So here's something. I don't totally hate what he's saying with the God mode thing. Because obviously he's talking about God mode. So Tom was getting hate from all kinds of people. All the like up church disses and uh, uh, Playboy the Beast disses and just all, all these people dissing constantly, right? Tom. So then Tom drops God mode where he just blasts everyone and he uses the Mac Lethal diss to explain how freaking detrimental his ability to hit back is. So now Mac is saying, bro, like I left it alone. We squashed it. We friended each other. We messaged each other that we were cool and just moved on. And then you bring my personal life into your video. That happened. That did happen. Was it true? Was he like, I feel like I'm carrying around a corpse in God mode. It's like, yeah, he bodied the shit out of Mac lethal in Mac lethal sucks facts. So it was a good point for the song, but I could understand why Mac lethal is like, Hey bro, you didn't need to bring up that my career tanked and I'm divorced and all this shit. He's like, I'm buying properties and minding my own business. And then you come at me out of the blue in this song. So now I'm going to come after you. Okay. It's fair, but let's see what he's going to bring. Because so far, it's just, you're transphobic and a white supremacist and whatever. It's like, no, he's not. He's not. He's just got, like, some truther slash conservative values that get put into some of the music. And people on the left don't know how to have a proper debate. So, because they have no facts at all, they just go straight to personal attacks and slandering people and name-calling and smearing nasty labels on people. So let's see if he has anything true or real to diss Tom on, which I'm sure there's something you can come up with, but it might just be leftist talking points and then it's just going to embarrass. So I don't know. Let's see. Thomas, we already squashed it. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First off, your music sucks, you're goofy as fuck, your beats are trash I bet a million dollars cash that I could easily beat your ass Your girlfriend is a skeezer with diseases, she got fleas and crabs She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass Nova Rockefeller <laughs> Known for Rockefeller She was a groupie over a Def Jam and a hoe at Rockefeller You nerdy cuck, I wouldn't touch that dirty slut for 30 bucks You're not even in the top 10 rappers, your girl is fucked Oh my god She's vaginally in Infected. I'll get back to her in a second. First, I'm smashing you on this record. Upon okay, for one, it's okay. It's slow, like really slow. And he's like, now I'm gonna get toxic. And once again, he went to like low blows on his girl. 
Like you're going after Nova the whole time. He's like, Nova's a hoe and went out and did all this nasty stuff and with Def Jam and these other rappers. And he's got the AI pictures of like a fat whale surrounded by uh, like a whole bunch of rappers. I mean, that's racist. Just a bunch of black dudes. But he said he was talking about rappers. Once again, he's like, okay, you're goofy. Your beats suck. And then went went after Nova because Nova was with Def Jam. And he's saying she was a groupie with Def Jam for a bunch of these dudes. Is that true? I don't, I don't know. But that's just like, for one, really, it's just like a super low blow that's not, really a diss to Tom. So I don't know, man, he might go after, he might return the shots. Tom hasn't done, hasn't done a proper like diss battle, but you go after Nova this hard, he might come back. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm not, I'm not through it yet. It might get hard towards the end. She's vaginally infected. I'll get back to her in a second. First, I'm smashing you on this record. I'll punch you so hard, you'll see three of me. You'll say, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Half your fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves. I donate my money to veterans. Okay, what you want, a peppermint? Don't complain about it, just do it. Quit patting yourself on the back for the camera lens. You're just Doja Cat for Nazis, a feminine racist. You're Doja Cat for Nazis. Half of your fan base wishes they own slaves. Listen, most of Tom's fan base would be like middle, lower class people who are pretty moderate and a large percentage that are conservative. And conservatives favor the Republican side. And I know Mac probably doesn't know much about history, but the Republican Party was started by black people and Whigs were anti-slavery. It's the anti-slavery party. And then, you know, Lincoln freed the slaves, Republican president freed the slaves. And then this whole Juneteenth bullshit that the Democrats pretend to care about, that's when the, the last of the Democrats' slaves were freed by the Union, who were Republicans. You got it? Are we all together? People understand now. So it's it's just this like, it's just slinging mud and being completely ignorant about everything. So I just can't let it go. It's it's just stupid. Quit, quit patting yourself on the back for the camera lens. You're just Doja Cat for Nazis, a feminine racist on every beat. They call you an anti-woke rapper because your music puts everybody to sleep. Fuck everything that your lame ass do. If Dave Matthews had braids and a face tattoo and made a song called If I Was a Gay Black Jew, we would all be like, hey, that's you. <laughs> Acting like you represent the blue collar working man rocking army boots when you live in Woodland Hills and wear $5,000 Versace suits. You'll never fuck with Mac. Look at this blonde bitch surrounded by shirtless African-American actors. What you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? Your fans cheer when planes fly over Gaza dropping bombs. I'm a 52 year old soccer mom. I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom. You're fake. Okay. So, two things. The Gaza thing, I mean, I, I've said before, like Hamas can be wiped off the face of the earth, really don't give a shit. But on the other side, I have a massive problem with us having an Israel lobby that is way too powerful in American politics. We should not have our, like, our senators and congressmen and whatever consulting with their APAC liaison before making legislation. And anyone who has dual citizenship to any country shouldn't hold power in the United States. You shouldn't. And there's a huge amount of people who are dual citizens with Israel, and then they hold power in the United States. So I'm not with it. And there's a lot of conservative slash Republican people who are. I'm not at all. Not cool with that. Um, and then him talking about how there's a lot of people that just don't like rap and are older, but they're like more conservative and they like Tom's messaging. That's true. That is accurate. I have gone talk shit about Tom's outfits, though, because he's like, you live in, I don't remember where, but he lives in like L.A., and he'll wear like $5,000 outfits. And then a lot of his fan base are like blue collar working people. 
I don't care what he wears. I just, I think they look ridiculous, like Gucci outfits and shit and all the, all the stuff. So I, I don't care, but I, I agree. I, it's not like the shirt was like $8. My ring, my wedding ring was $20. So I just like, I don't get it. The whole grills and chains and. Versace, Louis, Gucci, whatever. Like, I just, I don't get it. I don't care. And he lives in California, the the worst place like ever. So, so yeah, I, I can see people giving him a hard time, but Max not giving him a hard time for the right reasons. He's giving him a hard time for stupid reasons. Tracy says he wears that stuff in videos, but not in everyday life. Yeah, no, I I mean, I get it. I, I assumed he didn't wear that stuff in every day. I wear this to look cool. So I don't have cool clothes. I mean, I guess I have some suits that I got from Alain Dupetit, which is like Facebook online suit ordering. You don't get to try it on. It just shows up at the house. But yeah, I dropped uh, $250 on three suits. It was pretty epic. The point is... The aesthetic of getting like loaded up with a whole bunch of like super fancy, hyper expensive outfits doesn't really appeal to most, I would say most of Tom's fan base. I'm just trying to call balls and strikes. I'd say that that is okay as a, as a diss, I guess, but not for the reason that he said <laughs> Michelle, I think it's crap. He took shots at Tom's fan. No shit. He said that he's a doja cat for Nazis. So he's saying that all of the fans are Nazis and they're loving him as like a twerking person on behalf of Nazis. Yeah. He talked a ton of that. Dan says, Oh, fancy pants. I have suits. Yeah, I know. Like I said, I got, I have three suits that cost a combined $250. I got like eight years ago. So. Wynn says, I think Tom has a mansion in the hills of West side of the city of Los Angeles. Yeah. I mean, dude's dude's worth like $30 million. If he wants a mansion and a bunch of fancy shit, he can have it. I don't, I don't really care. Tracy says you need to watch sellout is jewelry is fake. And the clothing is either rented or bought secondhand. Jim says, all I've heard here is far left talking points. Might as well be Biden doing the video. Well, if it was Biden doing the video, he probably would have shat his pants by now. Michelle says, no, he posted the older woman and commented about her liking Tom. Yes, that was messed up. Austin, the mansion's fine. Jeff, you have a monkey suit. That's classy. Yeah, and I have a pink bunny suit. That's true. Accurate. But it, but it was given to me. And the monkey suit was used for two different Halloweens. We're very efficient around here. By shirtless African American actors, what you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? Your fans <laughs> cheer when planes fly over Gaza, dropping bombs. I'm a 52 year old soccer mom. I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom. I'm a fake fraud, poser, liar, charlatan, and grifter at heart. You have no fucking dignity. You'll do anything just to get on the charts. Bitch, I'm a star, kicking these bars, burning this body, I'll rip it apart, Tom. Did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? Talking like you kicked down doors for the indie movement. Bitch, you stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange music. I paved your road real indie since 01. Now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. This is a story about... Mac Lethal is saying that he paved the way for Tom McDonald. Are you serious, bro? I personally, I mean, listen, I'm not in it. I'm not in all this. I don't know. But I never heard of Mac Lethal until I saw the diss between him and Tom McDonald. Tom, Mac Lethal's diss to Tom McDonald was the first thing that I saw of Max. And the second thing I saw was him rapping with Ellen, which was cringy as hell. So I don't know, bro. Mike says, no, he's saying tech nine and rhyme sayers, which Mac was in created the independent path for music. He helped pave the way for sure. His rap pattern rhymes are more lost than Joe Biden on D day. Oh, that's fucked up. That was, that was uncalled for. <laughs> All right. Well, let's keep listening. This is a story about a boy named Tom. 
had a rich dad and a racist mom. Nova, daddy, here, Nova. Daddy, come here, girl. Sit. Aw, good girl. Here's a treat. Daddy, here's the truth that you can't run from. No can do told me when I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. Your ego's too big, it's gotta be deflated. Trying to say political rap is a genre you created? You gotta be fucking kidding me. You ever heard of Ice-T, Ice Cube, Immortal Technique, X-Clan, or Public Enemy? Of course you haven't. You know nothing about the culture. Second Amendment right guns coming up out the holster. Put the pistol in your mouth. Name one song off of Illmatic before I pull the trigger. You wanna be American? so bad that you won't even rep your own flag and now you're getting toe tagged on every single song you use that same dead flow your girls like emily willis a brain dead hoe i should that was rude now uh i do think it's fair tom has taken some liberties in saying that he's like the person who created the genre of political rap that's actually that's pretty good I I do I do agree. I know that people have been rapping about politics and the struggle and the shittiness of the government, et cetera, for a while. Tom was not the first person to do that. So it's cool. Mike Ross says Emily Willis, porn star who went into a coma, brain dead hoe, but Nova is not that. Thank you for the context. So he was comparing her to a a comatose porn star. Pretty rough stuff. Austin says epic rap battles has entered the chat. Austin said that line was pretty good, though. Tom's got to respond now. I can just imagine steam coming from his ears, bringing in Nova like that. There's a lot going in there. And Anna says, but I do agree Tom created it. Not that there hasn't been political rap songs, but Tom made it relevant. Well, I think Tom did a great job marketing to a bigger audience independently. So he created Hangover Gang as an international fan base to political rap. Diesel says, honestly, I've been doing it longer than Tom, but that's besides the point. Diesel Water, I don't know who you are. No offense. Michelle says, but Tom calls both sides out. Yeah, I think I think Tom more or less does. I think he tries to, to be as even as he possibly can. And I'll disagree. Like I said, there's nobody I agree with on anything all the time. Not Tom McDonald, not Donald Trump. And uh, yeah, just like anyone on the right, I disagree with on various things. And then people on the left are usually just really, really bad about using facts in their arguments and their ideology. So I usually disagree with them. You use that same dead flow Your girl's like Emily Willis, a brain dead hoe I should have known that you're a damn snake The type of person that'll look right in a man's face And offer him a handshake Call a truce, declare peace on the landscape Then diss his family life just to entertain your fan base On God mode, trying to rap like Jesus But in real life, you act like Judas With pussy cat like movements I feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus But I got whiplash, so drums make me smack my students the YouTube diss tracks, they really ain't my vibe when I battle a rapper shit, I'd rather do it live. I'll bet 50,000 bucks to the charity of your choice that you won't look me in the eyes and put clarity in your voice and say the things about me that you said in all your diss tracks when I'm a foot away from you and you might just get bitch slapped. Shit, we could battle on King of the Dot. Your girl knows all those dudes. She's seen all their cocks. We could battle up in Canada right in your hometown. I'll let you pick the city and venue it goes down and I promise I'll get a bigger applause than you because in hip-hop, there ain't a bigger fraud than you. You, I went on. Damn. Okay. So I will give him props that he's saying, let's go do a proper diss battle live, which is a different skill. That is a totally different skill to go battle rap with somebody than to sit in your booth in front of your camera by yourself, write it out, correct it, modify it, edit do all of the magic of, of media versus just standing right across from somebody and then having it out with them uh, lyrically or otherwise. Now, Dave, uh, from what I understand, is like some kind of a martial arts guy. Uh, Tom was a wrestler, professional wrestler. 
which I always think it's funny that the like martial arts guys are like, oh yeah, I could, I'll beat the shit out of everybody. And you're like, okay, dude, take it easy. Take it easy. Fred says Tom's not a battle rapper. Yeah, no, she's not. Diesel Water, Jeff, how much do you know about hip hop? Not much at all. I'm here for, the, I'm a free thinker. So I'm here because people talk all kinds of bullshit from the government and they censored my ass when I was trying to tell the truth. So I was like, all right, so I'm going to make podcasts. I'm going to make video shorts. I'll make the TikToks. I'll do all that. And then people got me onto this whole train of going through these breakdowns where I could try to bring in as much relevant stuff as I can uh, from current events, news, politics, et cetera. So this is just like a total side tangent. But as far as me having historical hip hop knowledge, no, I don't. So I'm not pretending that I do. Jeff Phelps says more of what they call political rap in the 90s from rappers like Ice-T were more directed towards police. Sure. The Mac little doesn't want an actual physical rap battle. He would get mad and try to attack Tom, who is a lot better, bigger. Very possible. Um, Garrett says, yeah, it's different, but Tom has done one takes, hasn't he? Uh, I don't know, actually. I think, was Boom Bap 101 a one take? Maybe. Mike says, please understand that people who are really good at any martial art, BJJ included, don't ever say, I'll whip your ass. They usually say, don't test me or don't start. Yeah. Yeah, that is typically true. So I, I have, I've known a few people that were not exactly people you'd want to mess with, and they would never be talking about that kind of stuff at all. <laughs> you would just find out if, uh, if you were being a total asshole. Joshua says, oh, no, he did not just bring strange music into this. Nah, I love Tech and the boys, but he brought Dax into this. Now nah, I'm mad. Dagnar, street fighters are king in fighting, then martial artists, then wrestlers, then boxers. Okay. BBKF, uh, even a yellow belt and BJJ won't cure little man's disease. <laughs> Jeff Dieselwater, I know a little, but I'm not here to fight. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'm not trying to, I, I'm just not trying to pretend I have historical hip hop knowledge. I don't. Tom was overthinking about saving face over ducking up church, not thinking about this happening when he wrote those bars, LOL. Oh, okay. So you're saying that he talked about how badly he trashed Mac Lethal so that he could justify not trashing up church, but now Mac Lethal's very upset because obviously he brought in his whole family life, et cetera, et cetera which I, I just said that. I said that earlier. I'm like, yeah, Mac has a point if they totally squashed it and whatever. And then Tom brought it back and then he wants to battle again, whatever. Like if you guys want to talk shit to each other, do it. I don't care. Whatever. Him, him saying that those are horrible cheap shots. And then he has to go at Nova for four minutes out of seven. I don't know about that. Anyway, let's keep it going. I'll get a bigger applause than you Because in hip-hop, there ain't a bigger fraud than you I went on tour with D12, those dudes are my new friends They showed me some video you made for Eminem They told me they were in the studio with Slim When he watched it, he cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in Eminem doesn't like you, he does not respect you You made a love song about him begging him to peg you Have you noticed that publicly he's never even mentioned it? I'm sorry, buddy, I know that's not how you envisioned it You thought he'd call you like, hey, Tom, it's Slim Shady you're so controversial, how are you this crazy? You wanna make a song about how transgender men are pretend ladies And all the live ladies having mixed babies? And how the Mexican border is being invaded by woke Palestinians causing inflation? We'll call it White Boys Part 12, it'll be awful And the Grammy goes to Eminem and Tom McDonald I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with your hero At least you got to do a song with Ben Shapiro The dude that censored Candace Owens' views quick And he said that rap music isn't real music and he tried to say the pussies aren't supposed to get wet that song was so controversial and over the edge i'm kidding okay hey 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 that was good i will say it's kind of rich of mac to to be like the guy who censored candace owens when in the first diss he compared tom saying that he's the rap equivalent of Candace Owens. And now he's brought Candace back to say, Hey, you got with Shapiro in a song who censored K 
Candace Owens over her views, which by the way, I'm on team Candace. Not everything she says I've said before. I don't agree with everything she says, but I've shat on the daily wire quite a bit as like controlled opposition for the right side. Okay. It's not really a mystery or unknown to people. So when he got with Ben Shapiro and they made that song, that song was not really controversial. They didn't really drop any like crazy red pills. It was just like funny and a meme that they did that. So, okay. But his whole <clears throat> breakdown of what he said Tom would do with Eminem talking about Palestinian refugees coming across the Southern border and causing inflation. Inflation is caused by them printing money and then giving it to anyone using it for anything. It doesn't matter, but like this foreign aid bullshit to Ukraine, to Israel, to the green agenda, to uh, the propaganda to get you to take the jab, like all of the things that they spend all this money on suck and cause inflation. And yes, giving the people coming across the Southern border, $10,000 gift cards, free phones and constant hotel rooms, like four and five star hotel rooms that's causing inflation too. So it is. So you like mocking the right. What are you even doing? What are you doing? Doesn't even know what he's talking about politically. And he tried to say the pussies aren't supposed to get wet. That song was so controversial and over the edge. I'm kidding. Nobody cares about your facts and your feelings. You make music for people that storm the Capitol building. You make rap tunes for white trash inbred people that snort crank in dirty ass gas station bathrooms. People that shoot AR-15s in classrooms that never heard of Nas Del Wu or Black Moon. You okay, so the people who stormed the Capitol were the feds were the brown shirts, and then the Capitol Police waved in the old ladies who were waving their little flags in their crocheted sweaters, and then they got arrested. And then he's talking about the people shooting inside of the schools. Those seem to be hardcore leftists. Those seem to be people in the alphabet mafia. It's not Tom's fans. Like, what are you talking about, dude? The projection is so hard, it's not even funny. So I, we just can't go there. Like storming the Capitol. You're saying the right wing stormed the Capitol unarmed and the great insurrection that was worse than nine 11, exactly one person died. And it was a, it was a veteran Trump supporting female shot by the Capitol police. That's the only person that died. So always remember this always Alec Baldwin killed more people than all of the insurrectionists combined on January 6th. So get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, that weak garbage, bro. And then you're going to do the school shootings. The school shootings are left-wingers, like all of them. It's left-wingers, and honestly, pretty sure it's like some MK Ultra shit from the intelligence communities. But I can't prove that. But I can prove it's left wingers and alphabet mafia folks. So, not not Tom McDonald fans. Get out of here, bro. In classrooms that never heard a Nas Del Wu or Black Moon. You make music for people that hate black dudes. People that huff gas fumes, got barbed wire tattoos. People that say the N word while playing Call of Duty. People that buy a case of Bud Light just to shoot it incels that are terrified of sex and people that pay money to be verified on x people that say now normally i don't like rap but this tom mcdonald dude is great because he ain't black i rewrote this disc three times kept throwing out the verses punch lines weren't cut and it needed substance and some purpose i realized i needed to try to cut beyond the surface and instead of murdering you maybe i could be of service you constantly just brag about the ways you feel yourself it's obvious you're losing your battle with mental health try to fill the emptiness in your soul by getting well but the money, fame, Louis and Gucci, it didn't help You need to go to Balenciaga and get a belt Put it around your neck, kick out the stool, then kill yourself You need to put a gun to your head, then drill yourself Cause to yourself, you've never revealed yourself I swear So he says multiple times that he, he needs to off himself Saying it's a bunch of white supremacists that 
that pay to get verified on X. Everyone has to pay to be verified on X. You know that, Mac? You know? I'm verified on, on X. I pay for the premium features. I have that, actually. And it's like, it's a bunch of incels. They're all incels. That's my favorite insult that I get all the time. It's like, oh, you're just an incel, whatever. And I'm like, what is an incel? That's new. Like, I just learned a couple of years ago what the whole cis thing is. You know what cis is? They're like, you're a cis male. It's like, what's that? What the hell is a cis male? Like a sister? I have three sisters. I don't know what a cis is, though. Like a cis is like somebody who's not a trans person. Oh. So like a normal person. Like a like just a guy. Yeah. Yeah, just a guy. But like a slur for that. Okay. And then you're like, you're they're an incel. You're an incel. What's an incel? Like that's somebody who's unable to get a girlfriend, has never had a girlfriend or, or a woman, or like you're you're a lonely person. I don't I don't really get it. Because I've been called an incel. Over and over and over and over again. I've I've been married since 2012 and I have five children. Not an incel. By their definition. Maybe some other definition I don't know about. But they tell me the definition and say that's what I am. And then I'm like, here's the picture of my family. Not Not really an incel. So, don't know. How's your relationship going, Mac? From what I heard, <laughs> what's that? You're struggling with the opposite, you know. Just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Jim says, tell them to ask their mom if you're an incel. <laughs> Love it. That's so funny. Gun to your head, then drill yourself. Cause to yourself, you've never revealed yourself. I swear to God, I know record label execs that managed you, represented you, brought you a couple checks. They told me all sorts of shit about you. How you like to. Maybe your best course would be to tread lightly. So he ends with a cliffhanger that the execs who used to work with Tom say that he liked to blank blank. Potentially he has dirt on Tom and then said, you better tread lightly or like in the to be continued part two, he'll drop that dirt on him. So if there's some like freaking Diddy videos of Tom that exist in the ether from back in his drug doing days, that would really suck. If Mac is sitting on that shit, I don't think there is. I don't believe it. I think that he's just trying to get a reaction out of people trying to insinuate that that kind of stuff exists. Uh, but I don't know, man, this, this whole thing was just kind of like, it was a big reach from somebody who is so irrelevant that it's not even funny. And then he's taking all of the super lefty talking points and then coming at Tom's fan base and his woman as like his main operating factor in this disc battle because he didn't really have that much. Like I said, I was trying to call it I felt like I called it pretty fairly right did I not you guys will have to tell me in the comments because as far as like how was the beat I didn't really care for it how was the flow I didn't really care for it and then the facts just were not there from my side when it comes to Tom's fan base with the garbage left wing talking points. And then when it comes to Nova, I don't know. That's like Enigma stuff from the past that like, I don't know. 
but it's just really damn rude. And like, it's one of those things where he can just take whatever he wants to make up and then say it. And then you're just slandering and defaming somebody. Which I guess is hip hop. I guess that's battle rap, right? But I, I'm just here for the facts. And when he started into the whole January 6th and school shooters and whatever and labeling them as Tom fans, that's when I'm going to start busting out the, the bullshit meter. The bear, 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 bear. No, no, thank you. Mike says this is why I said you would like a fourth and hate the other fourth. It was mostly bullshit about Nova and stupid statements about racism. I think Nova's going to fuck him up. Very possible. We'll see what happens. Diesel said that is absolutely battle rap. Yeah, just like making shit up that that rhymes and flows and has double and triple entendres and trashes the other person. That's what I understand most hip-hop battling to be. It's not necessarily facts, which is why I don't really like to do this battle breakdowns most of the time. But the other Tom McDonald, Mac Lethal, this battle situation was supposedly Mac going for him with true stuff from the left wing, and it was garbage. And then he got bodied with facts by Tom, really in the second one. The first one was like a tease, and then Mac came, and it was kind of garbage. And then Mac Lethal Sucks was, like, devastating. It was freaking ridiculous. Faithless says that was SJW rap. Yeah, that's kind of what I got, too. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, comment what you think, what you want to see next, and I'll see you on the next video. I'm about to kill this. I'm going to make it members only. So it'll be in that playlist with over 100 videos of members only content. And then I'll edit it down and make a thumbnail and post it as a main video on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoy that. But I'm rolling out. I love that Robin says Tom gave him a flower in God mode. Yeah, that was pretty funny.